Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Hospitals could be seeing a spike in traffic during New Year's celebration. IU Health spokesperson Amanda Roach says a warm New Year's Day usually equates in more emergency room traffic. Roach compared the increase in visitors to the weekend of the Little 500. She says alcohol and car accidents are common causes for the emergency room visits. And the forecast for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day shows highs in the mid-30s with no precipitation. More on that coming up. A new program that's running this year will let library patrons check out Indiana State Parks for free. The program provides 240 park entrance passes, one for every library in Indiana. Starting January 1st, Hoosiers with a library card can check out a free pass just like a book. The $12,000 program is being funded by the Indiana State Parks and the Indiana State Library as a way to celebrate the centennial anniversary of the park system. The goal is to open the gates for people who may have never visited one of Indiana's 32 state parks or recreation areas. And hundreds of Hoosiers will spend the first day of 2016 taking the plunge. Bloomington's annual polar plunge is tomorrow morning at 11 at Fairfax Beach. Participants run into the cold waters of Lake Monroe for a good cause. All of the money raised is donated to the Bladder Cancer Advocacy Network. The event raises thousands of dollars every year. And now here is that chilly forecast. First four tonight, mostly cloudy, lows down to 24 degrees. And in the five-day forecast, partly cloudy on New Year's Day, 34. Then sunny over the weekend, a bit warmer, highs in the upper 30s. Then on Monday, mostly sunny, daytime highs reaching 34 degrees. We have more news on our website, WTIUnews.org. And join us Friday at 6 for Indiana News Desk.